Hello and welcome back to the Mental Health Runner. Um, today I'm going to try out trail running. So I'm going to go out to the local quarry which has been converted into a nature reserve and I'm going to give it a go. I've not got great expectations, my one and only experience with it resulted in an injury but that's partly because I don't think I was in the right shoes so I bought some trail shoes. Um, so these are Innovate Cross Talon 212 Classics. They're fairly old shoes, they've been around for a number of years now, but Innovate, keep doing them. Um, the reviews for them are fantastic, so I thought I'd give them a go. So, what's different about this? The biggest difference is the sole. You've got these, I believe they're six millimeter lugs on the bottom, so they'll provide a lot more traction on in mud, basically. Um, and when I did the Canny Cross run at Canic Chase, traction on mud was a real, that was a real challenge. So that's the biggest difference. This is also quite a minimalist shoe compared to what I normally wear. The 212 in the name relates to the weight in grams, I believe of a, uh, a UK 8. This is a 12, but it is still a much lighter shoe than a lot of what I wear. At, wear. Uh, a lot of that is because if you look at the midsole, there's a lot less there. Um, I tend to like quite maximalist shoes. Um, so for example, one of my all-time favourites are my Saucony ISO 5s, um, with a really thick, cushiony, lovely, pillowy Everon midsole. This has got a very firm midsole, um, and it is quite minimalist, but I'm hoping that means I'll get greater feeling of the ground underneath, which when I'm running on an unstable sur surface will make, I hope, a really big difference. Um, I've also got a bit more protection around the shoe than I would normally have. Um, it's, to be honest, it seems like a nice shoe. I've worn this a little bit so far. It, it's quite a snug fit, not, not uncomfortably tight, not hoker owner only um, tight, but it is, it is fairly snug. Standard lacing system, nice Gore-Tex upper. Um, really interested to see how these go. The reviews I've, I've uh, seen of them have been very, very positive. They were on offer, which is which is always really good. So yeah, I'm going to go and risk a trail run and see how I get on. Right, so that's a 10K done. Felt pretty good, to be honest. Um, definitely like the shoes. I wouldn't want to do, certainly wouldn't want to do a marathon in them. Uh, wouldn't want to run on hard surface with them. But for this sort of muddy, gravelly, loose, hilly surface, they're brilliant. The traction running up the steep hills was absolutely fantastic. So what have I done this session? Well, in order for me to get quicker, I've got to start actually doing sensible training. At the minute, what I've been doing is going for a run, running as far as I wanted, for as long as I wanted, and not really doing any anything about actually going quickly. So I need to add in hill repeats, I need to add in intervals, I need to add in strength, I need to add in a lot of things, and I thought that uh, this nature reserve would be a really good place to get some hill repeats and some hill sprinting in. Um, so you'll see on Strava for my 10k, um, I've got about 300 feet of elevation, which for the sort of runs I normally do is actually a lot. I need to work on that. I need to, um, yeah, I need to get the power in my quads. So when I do run on the flat, I'm quicker. But I think this has been a, a really fun run, um, really scenic. It's it's a beautiful spot here. Um, definitely rate the shoes. Um, so yeah, despite expectations, actually. It's been a really enjoyable run. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.